The Anchor Soundcore 2 portable Bluetooth speaker improves upon the popular Soundcore line of wireless audio products from Anchor. I have both the Soundcore 1, which you'll see here later in red, and now the Soundcore 2, thanks to my good friends at Anchor, sending me the newest speaker so I could tell you all what I thought. Anchor touts the improved sound quality from its two 6-watt drivers located here on the outside, and then at the right angle you can kind of see a um, rectangular base reflector here in the middle. I'll try and get a still picture of that, but it may not be possible. If so, I'll insert it. This improves the bass versus the older sound core, but it's not an amazing change. For its size, it's decent and better than other Bluetooth speakers I own that are similar in size and price range. Sound is very loud and very clear with no clipping or distortion. I'd call the sound signature of this Bluetooth speaker clear and bright overall. Range is great and I can easily leave my tablet or phone in the house and take the speaker with me out to the deck while I do some grilling, which I've been doing a lot of this past weekend. I've been using my Soundcore 2 speaker all over this three-day Memorial Day weekend and it's been going very strong. The battery life has been fantastic. Most of this has been under the maximum volume, which helps with battery life. The other thing that I now like is the Soundcore 2 has a off, an auto off mode if it detects no sound. For about 20 minutes it will shut itself off to preserve battery power. I really like this option. And while we're on the topic of batteries, this is listed as an input of 5 volts with a 2 amp rating which means it charges quickly. A little bit of a size comparison here. Against a dollar bill you can see it's just about as long as a dollar bill and not quite as tall as a dollar bill. And it is less thin than it is tall. Compared with the Soundcore 1 in red above top here you can see that the Soundcore 2 is just slightly longer. On this side you can see the, the ports now have a cover on the Soundcore 2. You've got your aux in and your USB. Other than that, not a lot of differences. The main difference is that the corners are now rounded a little bit. I just think this is a more refined look, a little bit more ergonomic. The Soundcore 2 is IPX5 water resistant, which means you can squirt it with a stream of water and it'd be okay. It's not rated for full water immersion. They also offer a microphone uh, so you can take calls over this, but that's not really a feature I ever used, so I didn't test it. The buttons here on top are easy to press and have a nice audible click to them. There are two LEDs, one here for power status and the other here for Bluetooth pairing status. When in pairing mode, this flashes and then once it's paired, it's solid. And here is the box that it comes in. As usual, Anchor has a white and blue box theme. It's a very classy design box, nothing too fancy, nothing too plain. Inside you get the owner's manual which is nicely translated into English and several other languages. It's full of pictures so you probably don't even need to read any of the words. You've got Anchor's famous happy not happy card which inside it tells you what to do if you're happy. They ask for uh, feedback or if you're not happy they ask you to contact their customer service and they'll take care of you. And then you get a charging cable that's micro USB. This is not one of Anchor's Kevlar wrapped cables, but it is a nice quality cable you could use for other purposes. The one negative thing I would say is that this black matte finish is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. If you have anything on your hands, even the oil from your hands, um, and you touch this, it will probably leave a mark. Now you can wash it off or wipe it off and get it back to say 90% of out of the package, but it seems to uh, be a finish that will just leave a little bit there. Personally, it's not a big thing, but something to note, especially on this black color. My uh, red Soundcore speaker, I don't notice as much girt, dirt and grime on it, so it might just be a color thing. So a couple other quick things I wanted to note is I wanted to turn this on and sh tell you, show you the new on and off sounds, and then play a little bit of audio for you. And there is the on and paired mode. I'm going to be playing some audio from the No Agenda podcast because I don't want to be charged with any uh, copyright viola violations from playing music. He's the god of hellfire. Adam Curry, John C. Dvorak. It's Sunday, May 28, 2017. This is your award-winning Gimmo Nation Media Assassination episode 933. This is No Agenda. We need to always begin the begin and begin broadcast. 
broadcasting live from the darkest corners of the internet here in the capital of the Drone Star State, downtown Austin, Tejas, in the Cluedo. In the morning, everybody, I'm Adam Curry. And from northern Silicon Valley, where it's overcast and miserable, I'm John C. Devorak. It's Craig in the morning. As you can tell, the sound quality for spoken word for podcasts is fantastic, and it's pretty good for music, too. I like the original Soundcore Bluetooth speaker, and I use it almost every day. And the Soundcore 2, here in black, takes all the things that I like about the Soundcore 1 and improves upon them. I think I'll leave my Soundcore 1 speaker in the kitchen and the other in the bedroom. The small price difference between the Soundcore 1 and 2, and at current time, about $5, is well worth it to me to spend to get the Soundcore 2 for the improved sound quality and the battery life. The 18th month warranty just sweetens the deal. In case you can't tell, I really like and I recommend the Soundcore 2 Bluetooth speaker by Anchor. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. I'll have more new video stuff soon.